welcome to uh, welcome to this edition of Bullseye. You know the game's about general knowledge and darts, and we get hundreds of letters every week from viewers, and we're delighted to get them. This one particularly we got from Jimmy Murdoch from Banffshire in Scotland, and he's he's well we're, we're glad to hear from him because he's still playing darts at 83, which is really marvellous. But we were sorry to hear that he was beaten by a fellow last week who threw six-inch nails. He was actually beaten by him, which is unusually because, uh, unusual because usually it's nails that get the hammer in, isn't it? <laughs> Let's read our contestant from Mulder. How are you, Sue? Great. You, I'll tell you what, you look super. Thanks. Thanks I'm, a lot. I'm, I'm saying smashing tonight. Smashing. You really do look smashing. <laughs> Don't you look lovely? Really nice. And you're with Frank, and you're both from Liverpool. Yeah. Both from Liverpool. Now then, this is quite interesting because you were a county darts player at 15. Yeah, 15. So where did you practice? Did you practice when you were at school? Then? And well, well, did you not go to school? Well, that's That's well. That's well. You're known for in Liverpool, aren't you? That's right. Lovely to have you with us. Frank, you're from Liverpool as well. You're a civil servant. And you're into pub quizzes. That's your big thing, isn't it? Yeah. And three or four a week. Really? Yeah. Three to four nights a week. And do you play for different pubs? No, I don't play four pubs. It's for money. I didn't know they did, did, did they do this in Liverpool. It's a big thing in Liverpool, yeah. Uh, Vir you... Virtually every pub has a, a quiz night. Really? And they have them on, luckily they have them on, have them on different nights. Diff so you can go around and, yeah. <laughs> and as, uh, working for the civil service, you'll declare all that money. Nice to be anyway. Now then, we've got Moss Evans and Brian Evans. Moss and uh, yeah. Moss Bros. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's, that's, that's a Christian name, isn't it? We got that. You're from Newport in Shropshire. Correct. Nice part of the country, isn't it? Yeah. Over down there. I married a Shrewsbury girl. Well, Oswest, so it's not too far away, is it? That's right. And uh, and now, you, they call you the cockerel moss. Now, tell us why that is. <laughs> Every Sunday night, we used to have playing for a chicken. In the pub? I, uh, in the pub. Yeah. We used to have it a knock out, and yeah. I used to win it. Every week. <laughs> and uh, they call me cockerel. Really? So it was chicken every Monday for lunch, was it? Just <laughs> win it every week. Brian, again from Shropshire. Brian Evans, that's mm. right. How, how many were there in the family? There was um, ten children. Ten children. Mm. Yeah. Evans. Good Evans. Good Evans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that must have been. <laughs> so, and you, this is quite fascinating. You're a potato merchant. That's right. right. Yes, right. Self-employed? Yes. yes. Tell us briefly. Does that mean you go out and, and look at a field and, and buy a field of potatoes? Yes, yeah, buy a field, a store. And I buy in the Midlands and I sell all over the country. To retail outlets? Uh, well, not to retail, no, to wholesale. To wholesale? To so you're just the, the first man who gets all of them, I That's right, yeah. That's great. Right. Mark Provis and John McDowell. Oh, you're from well down, aren't you? Well down there, Mark. You're yeah. from, from Port Isaac in Cornwall. What we've got to tell you about these boys, they're very modest lads, as all these guys are. Uh, they're involved with the RNLI, the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. They're both lifeboat men. And uh, something which Mark, he, he knew we, that we knew about this, but when they applied to get on the show, we got a letter from, uh, from the authorities telling us that, uh, that Mark, you were, you were given an award, weren't you, Mark? Yeah. Now, I know yeah. it embarrasses you a bit to tell us about it, but go on, tell us. T tell us very briefly what happened. Well, it was um, a few years ago, and yeah. uh, we had um, a call, a shout, to go out and rescue um, a young lad off um, cliffs just a few miles up the coast from where we live and uh, he um, smashed the boat up a bit getting him off the rocks. The helicopter couldn't get to him because he was um, under an overhang so we had Could... to go in under the overhang in the heavy seas and... But you've got uh, to save the boy. We saved the boy but more is a pity his father drowned him. Yeah, but I mean, well, I think you do a marvellous job really. I think a round of applause for these guys. We move on now to John. Now, John, you're a builder. That's right. And yeah. this is quite interesting because yeah. you convert barns, don't you? We do a lot of con uh, barn conversions. And, yeah, and tell us what you convert them into, John. Well, basically, um, well, houses, uh, cottages. Or and cottages. Uh, yeah. and, and you like your cricket? We like cricket, yes. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine the, the scenes cricket in Cornwall with all the... It's beautiful. Brilliant. Yep. We yeah. Some, we, we, Visit, you know, we obviously we travel around and yeah. visit some beautiful uh, pictures. You've got a nice quality of life down there. I envy you very much indeed. In fact, I envy all six of you. Give them a nice warm round of applause. <laughs> OK, let's just to remind you at home, the questions in the first round are worth £30 each. Our three brains are sitting there waiting to play the game. So let's get on with Bullseye tonight. Frank, choose a subject for Sue. Uh, Britain, please, Jim. All right, come on, Susie. Britain would like for Frank. Yes, sir. Oh, 
Oh, it's not in Britain, Jim, it's in words. It's in words, so there's no, no bonus there because it wasn't the subject you asked for. Not a problem, Frank. Question on words for £30. If you are recumbent, what are you doing, Frank? Lying down. You're lying down, gives you £30. Well done. Brian for Moss. Uh, sport, please, Jim. Sport. All right, come on, Mossy. Sport, we'd like. 50. Good start for oh, you nice. there. Can you add another 30 to, to this, Brian, by telling me this? What was the name of the yacht sailed by the British all-girl crew in the 89-90 Whitbread Round the World Race? Maiden Voyage. I'm giving you that because Maiden. I didn't hear voyage. Maiden. Maiden. It was maiden. maiden. Absolutely right. Good man. Gives you a total of eighty pounds. Well done. We move on. John for Mark. Uh, can I have faces, please? Jim? Yes. Come on, Mark. Faces with like. <coughs> Fifty, Jim. John, for another thirty pounds. All of you look at your. Well, now there's a light on on that. You're quite in order, Brian, to do that. But it's John's first shout at that. Who is that? Kenny Everett. Kenny Everett, absolutely right. An extremely funny man. Gives you £30. Scores at the end of round one. Sue and Frank with £30. And Moss and Brian and Mark and John, £80 apiece. Well done. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Well done. We move on. Questions now, £50 each. They're a little more difficult, the questions, and the categories, as you can see, are disappearing. You can only choose from the ones that are lit now, Frank. Let's play round two. Choose for Sue. I'll try Britain again, Jim. We'll try Britain again, Sue. Best of luck this time. Well, it's in spelling, Jim. She's trying to go for the hundreds and she's in spelling, oh, so it's no bonus, but do, uh, still don't worry, Frank. So early days. Something beyond the physical is psychic. Please spell psychic, Frank. P S Y C H I C. I'll check it with Bully. P-S-Y-C-H-I-C. -I -I Very well done, sir, because that was a tricky one. You got yourself £50, and you're still in with a shout, don't worry. Brian, what about it? Uh, could I have places, please? We'll try places. Mossy, places we want. 50. 50 pounds again. Hold on. Steady playing. Good. For another £50 pounds for you, Brian. Three countries border Norway. Name one of them. Finland. Is right, sir. The other two, Sweden and Russia. Fine. £50 you have. We move on. John? Um, affairs, please. Yes, come on, Mark. 50. £50, 50 pounds oh, again. Mark. Another £50 pounds for you, John. Tell me this. Which Democratic candidate was beaten by George Bush in the 1988 American presidential elections? Democratic candidate was beaten by George Bush in 88. Uh -huh. Bullies come in to end your pain. I'm going to, going to come across to Brian for £50, Brian. Was it Dan Quayle? It wasn't. It was Michael Dukakis. <gasps> Dear me, which means at the, at the end of round two in game one, with £80 for Sue and Frank, Moss and Brian with 180 and 130 for Mike and Mark and John. Well done, all of you. Well played. <laughs> Still, I promise you, the differences from top to bottom are minimal because we've a long way to go. Questions now are worth £100 each, and they are more difficult. They've got to be careful because if a category's gone, no question available. What do you think, Frank? Choose for Sue. I'd like Britain again, please. You'll do it this time, <laughs> Sue, I can tell. Third time, lucky, Sue. 50! What about a round of applause for that? Well done, Sue. That, we're delighted. <laughs> what is the name of the official map-making department of the government? The Ordnance Survey. Is Royal exactly Office. right, sir. Gives you £100. Well done. We move on. Brian for Moss. I'll try showbiz, please. Showbiz with like. These scores very tight tonight. Showbiz with like. That's 50. £50. 50 pounds. Which American film star set aside his normal fee of £2 million? Pounds? to play Shylock in a London stage production of The Merchant of Venice. Dustin Hoffman. Gives you £100. Well done. And you were in there, John, weren't you? <laughs> you knew that one. We move on. Well, what do you think now, John? Uh, can I take the books, please, Jim? Well, there's a, there's a margin for error there for you, but not a lot. 
Fifty. Fifty pounds. Steady where the dark players have been tonight. Whose book of his trip around the world in 80 days for BBC television went to the top of the bestsellers list? Michael Palin. Is right, sir, for £100. <laughs> which, which gives us... At the end of game one in this edition of Bullseye, we've got Sue and Frank with £230, Moss and Brian with £330, and Mark and John with £280. Well played, all of you. Good. <laughs> what we're saying, really, to all you three dart players is it's pounds for points, so it's over to Tony. Right, you are, Sue, to the hockey, and the best of luck. Round one. 20. One. Another one, 22. Bad luck. Right, Moss, 22 to be. 20. Five. Treble 20, 85. So mark 85 to beat. 20. One. And 2041, so the first round to Moss with 85, Jim. OK, Brian, which German physicist was awarded a Nobel Prize for his theory of relativity, which led to the dawning of the nuclear age? Brian? Einstein. Is absolutely right, sir. Gives you £85, which gives us the scores now. £230 for Sue and Frank. Moss and Brian with £415 and £280 for Mark and John. Well done. Back to Tony. <laughs> okay, Sue. Okay. 20. 5. And 5. 30. All right, Moss, that's the score. 20. 20. And 20, 60. Very steady. All right, Mark, 60 to be. 20. Treble 5. And 20, 55. So the second round to Moss with 60, Jim. It's worth 60 pounds to you. At what age in Britain does a motor car become the subject of an MOT test? Three years old. Is right, sir. Gives you £60, which gives us the scores now. Look at this. £230 for Sue and Frank, £475 for Moss and Brian, and £280 for Mark and John. Well done. <laughs> Back to Tony. <laughs> OK, sir. Final round. 20. 1. And 14, 35. 35, Moss. 20. 20. And treble 5, 55. And that's the score to beat, Mark. 55. 1. 5. And 20, 26. So the final round to Moss. With 55, Jim. Which ceremony marks the initiation of a Jewish boy into the adult community at the age of 13? Bar Mitzvah. Bar Mitzvah is right, sir, for £55. <laughs> Fine, now look at this. That means at the end... At the end of game two, taking us into the break, with one couple can stay with us. Look at the scores. Sue and Frank with £230. Moss and Brian, £530. And Mark and John, £280. So we've got to say a cheerio, sadly, to Sue and Frank and Mark and John. In you come. Well done. <laughs> well done, Mark. Oh, dear. They wouldn't go in with the first 20s, the 1s and 5s. Never mind. It's, you've done very, very well. You've got £230 here. I've got this here. Get this out. But look what you've got. There's some of it's in there. It's not all there. You've got a bully each, and a set of darts each, and a goblet there for you, Sue. And they, you take home a tanker for your real health. That'll be all right. Thank you. Take that with you, <laughs> won't you? And we've got £280 for you two fine lads from, uh, from down in the West, uh, the West Country. It's been marvellous to have all four of you. Brilliant. And a good yeah. day.
Grace. Grace. Yeah, that's great. Couldn't we've got it even better in the second half? It'll take us two minutes to count this out. See you then. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy this. Our two lads here done incredibly well. Cut a few bob there, lads, didn't you? And of course, now it's bronze bully time, and here we, we raised some money for charity, chosen by our two finalists. We'll tell you about that in a minute. Rather special, the guy we've got throwing for charity tonight, because as you know, it's the professionals throwing. If they get 301 or more, we double it and give it to the charity chosen by our finalists. We've flown this young fellow in from America to be with us tonight. Please give him a warm round of applause as he throws for charity. Paul Lim. Treble five. Twenty fifty five. It's ninety eight plus these, Paul. Twenty. Twenty. And treble twenty one hundred. <laughs> Well, that is a bottle job, isn't it? Isn't oh, it is. Because we only give you the nine. We keep telling the viewers, they see us in the streets, and they say, How many goals did they get at that? But you, you can tell them now. We just give you the nine, don't we? Yeah, but well, it is oh, tough night out there, isn't it? It, it is really, because you've only got that length of time to prove yourself, haven't you? Yeah, it That's is. That's right. Anyway, it's uh, £198. Where's it going, Brian? It's going to the Audley Court Old Folks Home in Newport, Shropshire. That's marvellous. Good. Nearly £200, isn't it? So it's not bad, is it? Yeah. It's been lovely to have you with us. I know oh, you've flown a long way to be with us. Yeah, it is. It's nice. Enjoy. Privilege. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're always welcome on Bullseye. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. We've had, a, uh, we've had a great day with the guy. He's a wonderful fellow, isn't he? It's your turn to do yourselves a little bit of good because it's your turn to go to Bullish Prize Board. Let's see what he's got for you tonight. In one. It's really ideal for the busy household, a microwave oven. In two. A prize to brighten those little eyes, a kiddie's trike and go-kart. In three. If you like coffee that's really frothy, you'll like this espresso maker. In Four. Ideal for the man about town, this attractive leather briefcase. In five. A prize that really does sound good, it's a hi-fi. In six. For really perfect pictures, this very latest camera. In seven. Another good sound prize, an attractive cube radio. In eight. A really vintage bullseye prize, it's a case of wine. And Bully's special prize! You'll be really up to date with this 24-inch colour TV complete with remote control and teletext. <laughs> now then, you played the game incredibly well tonight. You, you really are going well. We've given you nine darts and the nine prizes are behind the red sectors there and, of course, Bully's special prize. Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. Once you've won your prize, the light will come on to tell you, so you know, don't go near it again. All right? There's six for you, Moss, and three for you, Brian. We'd like you to win all nine. Off you go with your first three. Listen to Tony. OK, Moss, just take your time. Settle in. Best of luck. It's black. That's the ball That's my That's a 24-inch colour TV, so you're on your way. You're on your way. And that's red number six. Fine, that's the latest compact camera. You got exactly what you wanted there, didn't you? Yes, and you could tell from your face you got two good ones there. Same again, Brian. Still six Take to go. Your time. That's black. Black. But that's red, it's number that's seven. Fine, that's the cube radio, so you're still all right, you're still on song. 
Take your doubts out, and it's your last three, Moss. Your lights will tell you what's gone, Moss, so please be careful. Best of luck, Moss. Black. But that's red, it's number one. That's a microwave oven. And red again, number three. And that's the espresso coffee maker. You've done very well. Let's have a look at what you've won. You have won the microwave oven, the espresso coffee maker, the latest compact camera, the Cube Radio and Bully special prize tonight, the 24-inch colour TV. You've done very, very well. I think that's worth a round of applause. <laughs> now, lads, you have got... <laughs> oh, dear, we've been doing it for nine years and it doesn't get any easier, I promise you. You have got £530, which is safe. The £198 is going to take your old people on holiday, and that is safe. And your bullies and your tankards and your darts are safe. But it's the prizes. You've got five very nice prizes there. Would you like to gamble those prizes against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully? 101 or more with six darts. Non-dart players go first. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do. It's a fair old gamble with that list. What do you think? <laughs> Rick. Are you listening? Oh, right now. What you... Well, I heard a little whisper from Brian then. Speak to us, Brian. We've decided to gamble. You're we came with nothing, and if we go with nothing... Two Shropshire we'll lads. The day. Yes, I know you have, and it's been a pleasure having you with us. Non-dark player first. We wish you all the very best. All right. 101 or more. Come on. <laughs> Let's have it tonight. <laughs> Brian, please, just take your time. As I say, there's no rush. Yeah. Just settle yeah, yourself right. into it. It's 101 or more for tonight's star prize. The best of all. Treble 19. One out the board. And three. That gives you 60. What a good start. So, Moss. Take your time, Moss. You know really take your time, Moss. 41 or more will take tonight's star prize. One. One. Still a chance. Lucky Moss, it was a hard Oh, Moss. I'm awfully sorry, boys. There's no way I can, honestly. There's no way I can wrap it up. Just, hey, never mind. Have a look at what you could have won. And Bully's star prize tonight is a sun soaked, never to be forgotten holiday on the beautiful island of Corfu. Here there will be hour after hour of warm sunshine on long sandy beaches with entertainment to suit everyone. There's a chance to try water sports or just to relax and enjoy the warm and friendly Greek hospitality this island is famous for. It's all here and more on this holiday to remember and it's all for the throw of a dart. Bitterly disappointed for the boys. They've had a great day. I tell you, the guys played brilliantly all day, and then, oh dear, what can I say? You've got your bullies, your tankards, and your money's there. Five hundred and thirty pounds, which is worth it, hasn't it? You haven't let Shropshire down. You've really been great, really. Thanks very much indeed for watching us on Bullseye. We're sorry about tonight, but the boys have had a great time. We'll look after them afterwards. Might have a little drink. We'd love to see you next Sunday on Bullseye because remember, the weekend couldn't be the same without a bit of bully. Bye. <laughs>